Let's take a look at another midline ABUS. This is the model C83 under their old line of locks. And anyway, here, here's the key. It does work, as you can see. Perfect. It's brand new. There's the bidding on the key. Pretty wild, as you can see. Uh, it is a five pinner. Now this looks very similar to the C73, which I, I did on a previous video. In fact, here's the C73. Um, they're both almost coloration and everything, size, all the same. The, one of the differences, of course, is on the C73 we have the square key, which has the word uh, security on the uh, bow. Uh, if we turn it beneath or underneath, you'll notice that we have a couple of differences. On the pin holes themselves, uh, on the C73 they're silver, on the 83 it looks like they're brass. Uh, on the C83 also for some reason they have these holes, I don't know if that's part of the machining process or what, there's nothing in them, they don't appear to have any effect on the lock whatsoever, but that's an easy way to quick, make a quick identification. And so far as the face, oops, sorry, they're both identical in terms of keyway, the keys will fit each other, uh, so it's the Y keyway, of course they won't open each other. So those are some of the differences. Uh, in appearance, the 73 is heavier, seems to be a more substantial lock despite being the same size. Uh, the 83, kind of more lightly constructed, a little bit cheaper key. These are brass keys instead of steel like the other, so I think this is probably further down on the economy scale in terms of affordability. That's my way of saying it's a cheap lock, cheaper lock. It is not a cheap lock. It is a, a pretty high quality lock, as are all of these Abuses. Um, the machine work is excellent. The tolerances are very tight. In fact, the biggest challenge on these Abuses is getting that fault set, which we're going to try to do right now. I'm just going to put it in there and just go pin by pin, see if I can get a fault set and get lucky, because with these Abuses, that's the hardest part. There we go. All right, we got a fault set, you can see. Just a very slight fault set, but that's all we need, isn't it? Now we're just going to go pin by pin, find out who wants to be picked first. Okay, I felt one about midway, but it didn't seem like a substantial amount of feedback. Okay, it's pin number three, and we set them good. All right, so we guessed right. Let's keep looking. Let's go back to the back of the bus and figure out if they anybody back there wants to be picked. And the answer is no. Oh, I must have missed him. We're going to try this again. Back of the bus, pin by pin, looking for some feedback of any kind. And again, I get a no. Okay, I'm going to, because of, we've done that twice without success, I mean the definition of being wacko is trying the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So I'm just going to kind of keep my tension light and I'm just going to jiggle. Maybe I can unset a pin that wasn't completely set. Now we're going to try it again. Alright, well, you know, I got pin one. Again with pin one. Uh, he, he's giving me some very slight feedback and it's wouldn't you know it in the Y key way and I've already got them jammed up as hard as I can it's probably got to be set all the way up and there we go got him alright now let's go to the back of the bus and start pulling again we got a really good deep fault set now probably only have one pin left to be my guess Make sure I got that pin one. Yeah, he's in. This guy's not giving anything up this morning. I keep thinking we got to go to the rear, but I'm not feeling anything back there. Okay, I've done this again. I've done it twice. I'm getting no feedback on any pin. Let's see if we can jiggle something loose. Maybe my technique is off this morning. 
All right, back in the bus. There he is. It's the last pin. Let me set him. Okay, we got, there we go. So that was it. We had one pin left, and there we go. Completely open. All right, that is the Abus C83. It's a good lock, good training lock. If you want to learn security pins without having to reset and set, you know, a hundred times as with in, with the Titaniums or with some of the other Abuses, five pins a good way to go. Uh, you can build your skills very very quickly. Thank you for your time. Uh, everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal.